In this video, I'll show you how to overlay the Gantt chart over the S curves. So this is off of the uh, Gantt chart tab, and we can simply click on Display Gantt chart, and we get <coughs> the project structure. So here I'm displaying 20 lines, but we could display everything if it would fit in. So whatever we like to see, we can move this over, display the start and finish dates. So you can see there's a variety of options here uh, to shade completed activities. So we could turn those off, didn't want to show the shading. <clears throat> we can show the status, which will tell us what's behind program, uh, ahead of program, etc., or finished on time according to the baseline. We can display the baselines. So it's yellow in this case. I could change the color if I wanted to, <clears throat> change all the colors if I wanted. Uh, which will show us what's ahead or behind of of program, which is useful. And we can display the critical path or not. So uh, maybe some of these are critical, a bit lower down. Yeah, so that's a critical item. So we could turn that off. If we just wanted to make it uh, a normal activity. We can roll these items up if we wish. Or we could use the collapse to certain levels to show us uh, a level of detail we want. And obviously, when we print this off, the Gantt chart is going to be displayed as well. And the final thing, we can obviously change our outline colors if we so wished. So the use of uh, the Gantt chart overlaying the baseline to sort of see uh, levels of detail can help us understand where delays occurred in correlation to the uh, S-curve being displayed.